What's going on, Flare Fishing fam? I am starting the video off like two days after I actually filmed this video that you're going to watch because I have very important news to tell you guys. I had to redo the intro. Basically, I had an, uh, an intro before... I had a good intro, I had an intro before the video, like a normal intro, and now I'm redoing the intro because I have to tell you something. My channel now has the sponsor feature, which I hate that term, and uh, we're gonna call it the Flare Fishing Fam. So if you wanna join the Flare Fishing Fam, this is what you get. First and foremost, your name will get placed on the Flare Fishing Fam wall, and this wall will be shown in a lot of my videos. And uh, so if you wanna see your name in my vlogs, that's one, the one perk, we got five. All right, we got four to go, folks. You just, just sit back and just, just take notes. The next perk is I will follow all of you guys on social media, so if you are one of my sponsors, AKA a part of the Flare Fishing Fam, I will follow you on Instagram or Twitter, whichever one you prefer, but I will follow you, so every single sponsor AKA Flare Fishing Fan member will get a follow from me on social media. The third perk is you get early access to all of my videos. I will upload all my videos at least one day early, and if you are part of the Flare Fishing Fam, you get to see those videos early. You get to see them before they're ever released to the general public. So that is the third perk. The fourth one is I'm going to be doing sponsor exclusive live streams. So if you guys want to come hang out with me, I'll sit down, answer all your questions, sit down live. It'll just be me and you guys, the Flare Fishing fam, and you guys can ask me whatever questions you want. And lastly, I'm going to be uploading exclusive tips and tricks videos. So you guys remember like the old school fishing of Flare, like where I'd sit down and be like, this is how you catch fish on a frog. And I'll make an entire video just about catching fish on a frog or just about chatter bait fishing or like the best fishing knots or stuff like that. All of those tips and trick how-to tutorial videos will be available to just the Flare Fishing fan members. So those five items, if you click the link down below, you'll see it says sponsor. Click it, sign up, you'll get those five items every single month. I had to tell you that, very important news. Now uh, roll the fishing catching video right now. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. I didn't, I didn't know I was supposed to grab it. Yeah. Did you tell me that? Well, I was just like, there's no rope, but I'll be good. Hey, you know, nothing like losing a 10 pounder at 5 a.m. You know, there's these amazing inventions called plugs. It's kind of important for your boat. Now the question is, do I have a plug? Because I didn't take it out. Wow. Do you see how much water is in here? Oh, we are good. We are back with another episode of Fishing with Flare, aka forgets to put the plug in, aka doesn't use rope to attach to the dock, aka catching Nebraska brutes only today, guys. You stay tuned. All right, folks, here we go. We are starting off the day with none other than the frog on Flair's Frog and Flippin' Stick. I'm hoping there's fish on beds today. That's the goal today. I have not caught a frog fish yet this year in Nebraska. There's a five pounder right there. There's one. There's one. Get up here, son. Woo! Yes! Frog fishing, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. You think they're spawning? Look at that little guy. I think it's a little, it's probably the little male. But, uh, bloody tails means fish. Just got back to this creek on the frog. My first topwater frog fish in Nebraska of 2018 feels amazing. We haven't even gotten to the good spot yet, so I've got a good feeling we're going to catch a big one. If these little guys are munching, that means the big girls are munching. All right, this is Jimmy. See you later, Jimmy. Yes, frogfish. Yes. Now it's time to find that one's mother.
Good God, dude, that was a giant. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, it ripped out. Yeah, we need to come back. We'll come back to her. Oh man, that was it. All right, there'll be more. We're good. There'll be more. Shake it off. A few moments later. I figured I might be able to smoke it. Maybe her bed. It might be bed. Might be a little further. We'll kind of fan cast around it. That's her. Got her. Yep, got her. That's a good one. Yep, dude, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, God. I'm boat flipping it. You ready? Oh, God, dude, this is a good fish. Look at this. Yes. Come on. No, come on. Yes. Woo! Oh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> Smokes the frog. You come back an hour later and catch her with the old flipping bait. Beautiful. Look at that mama right there. This was the fish, the exact fish that hit my frog earlier that I missed. And uh, we came back about an hour later, let her rest up. You know, after you, especially you got a good hook in her, you let her rest up and I came back flipping the plastic in there. Good old tungsten weight. And uh, she smoked it. That's, that's definitely three, probably three and a half or so. I don't think I have the scale with me, but I will take it. Beautiful fish on the Texas rig. Yes. All right, this is Gracie. See you later, Gracie. Yes! Woo! <laughs> You've been taking it easy on the fish so far? Yeah, we'll see how they like the Nico. Up on these rocks. Got him. Yep, got him. That's actually a decent fish. That's a de- oh gosh. Oh dude, that's actually really decent. Okay, alright. I did not think it was very big. That's a good fish. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wow, dude. Yes, that's a good one. That is a gr really nice fish. I thought it was just a little squeak. Oh, take it easy, Ricky. Take it easy. Don't be mean to me. Come in here nice and nice and easy like. Nope, nope, this way. The boat is this way, sir. Sir, sir. Come here. Come here. Come here. Quit it. Quit it. There we go. <laughs> yes. Dude, on the Nico, he choked it. All right, here's here's a trick for you guys. So this guy's bleeding pretty bad. Pour some, just pour some soda on him. It should stop the bleeding. Look at that. Stop the bleeding. Tips with flair. Take notes, folks. Take notes. Now that she stopped bleeding somewhat, she's still still bleeding a little bit. We're gonna put her back on the Nico rig. Got to go finesse for him. All right, see you later, Richard. Bye, buddy. Richard is back. He just he just took a quick second. I just said I said to John, I was like, I gotta go finesse on these fish. No more messing around. We're going finesse. I think that was my actually first cast with the Nico. Just a little finesse room. I'll show you actually I'll show you the Nico real quick. So right here, this is the Nico rig for those of you guys that do not know. What a Nico rig consists of is this is like a Sanko basically. It's actually one of the elastic ones, so it floats, that's also important. And then you get one of those little wacky bands on there, and then that's a little weight, a little Nico weight. Basically, you could throw a nail in there or whatever. You just shove it in there and it gives it weight. Then you got the Nico hook. This one's actually weedless. So what it does is it stands up just like this and you hop it along. So instead of a shaky head where you're constantly bringing up the weight, the weight always maintains contact, bottom contact. And then this, since it's floating plastic, sits there and waves and you just bring it along like that. It's kind of like a wacky. It's a little bit different variation, but I'm telling you guys, for, for bed fish especially, but just fish year round, this is one of my all time favorite finesse lures. And uh, you can throw big worms on this. You can actually go smaller than this. There's a lot of variations. That right there, folks, is the Nico rig. So that's three fish. Yeah. If we can get five, there's a bite. Got him. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, dude, it's coming at me. It's coming at me. It's coming at me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Loosen the drag. Loosen the drag. It's taking me out deep. It's taking me out deep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, baby. Ricky, stay down. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dude, they are munching the neek. The neek is fire right now. Can't keep them off. Dude, these fish are biting so light, though. It is crazy. Got it. Yes. 
dude. Look how, I mean, look how they're eating this thing. It is gone. Absolutely annihilated. Look at that. Oh, these fish, they're not giants. But you can see they got the bloody tails. These are, I mean, these are all like three, three and a half pounders. I will take it. On the Nico again, just fishing these, this rock bank. And these fish are biting so light. They feel just like bluegills and crappie. It's like tick, 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 tick. And there they are swimming off with your bait on the bed. All right, Bethany, see you later. There Bethany goes into the depths of three feet. Yes. Again, the Nico that I've shown you, I just switched to it. The first cast I had it, and that was probably like the maybe eighth or ninth cast. That is the bait they want. Right now, there's not a lot of wind, so they're not going to be eating the moving bait. They're on bed, so you got to really just finesse it. And I think that worm just sitting there on their bed really pisses them off. That is how I am catching the fish today. If you guys want any of the products, they will be linked down below. The Nico, the rods are real, the line, the lures, everything that I'm using, always linked down below. Check it out. Hopefully we catch another one. There's one. Got him. Yep, big one. That's a good one. I don't think it's a giant, but it's a good fish. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. I'll take you, little buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, yeah, he's a chunker. I'll take him. Look at that. A little chunk. That's how you want him to eat it. I'm telling you guys, they're munching the neek today. They are just absolutely crunching it. Perfect hook right in the top of the mouth. And uh, we basically move spots back into a little cut. There's some rock mixed with some trees and some brush. That's throwing the same bait, catching little Nebraska brutes like that. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know, is this guy? Yep, he's got, you guys see he's a little little wound there. So he is spawning. I don't know if that's, that looks like a little a little female. I don't think that's a male. A little female right there, but we will, we will take it. All right, Ashley, see you later, buddy. There Ashley goes, folks. Yes. Like I said, we're fishing this rock point, kind of moved back into this cut a little bit, and, uh, and that's what we're doing, just dragging this. Basically how you work this thing, I want to give you guys tips because this is a great technique to catch fish year-round, but also this time of year. You throw it out there, it's just kind of like a Senko or like a jig or anything, and you throw it out there and it sinks down and you just, you just kind of wiggle it because what it does, like I was saying earlier, this guy stands up just like this, and when you're, when you're wagging the tail, or when you're shaking your rod, it's just doing this. And this is standing straight up, just like this, and it's bouncing. Fish cannot resist it. I'm telling you guys, you need to pick some up. Get yourself a white bird rod or whatever spinning rod you want. But Favorite has some really nice ones. Check them out. And uh, some braid, nice leader. I, this is like 12, 12 pound leaders, my, my setup today. That's what you need to go catch Nebraska brutes when they are spawning, and you cannot see them. Should be one under this shade. Like right yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, that's the same same right. deal. There's one. Oh God, that was a terrible hook set. Good one. Yeah, that was a terrible hook set. That thing had it. I threw up on the bank and it had it down in Narnia before I even realized it had it. Whew, gotta let these guys. Look at him. Look at him. He's just. He's not done. You gotta let these guys kind of wear themselves out. They've got a lot of spunk into them this time of year. Gotcha. Small guy, but again, you can see the, the little wound right there. That's, that's proof that they are still spawning. So all these guys are pushed up shallow. They're doing their thing. They're protecting their beds from the Nico. They hate the Nico. All right, see you, buddy. Bye, Billy. Well, folks, I am ending the day, but I wanted to end the video here. Had a great time fishing with Mendak. Again, this dude makes YouTube videos, so if you guys want to check them out, there'll be a link down below. You go check him out. He's a good dude, and uh, he's helping me with, obviously, holding the camera since he didn't catch any fish today. How do you feel about that? <laughs> so, yes, I had a great day out on the water. So, just to kind of like give you guys more tips. I know I've been talking a lot about the Nico rig, and it could be new to you guys. I have used it before. I remember using it last summer, but this is the first time this year I've used it. Again, everything that you're gonna need, all the products, I will link them down below. So, because you need the nail, you need the hook, you need the O-rings, you need all that stuff. So I will link all that stuff down below for you guys. But 
Another tip to take away is I was frog fishing because one, I wanted to catch fish on a frog, which I did, I accomplished that. But then another thing is a really good way to locate bed fish when you can't see them is frog fishing because if you're twitching it, a lot of times they won't crush it, but they'll boil on it and they'll swirl. And that's a really good way. And that's how I caught that bed fish on that flipping soft plastic bait. Um, because I was throwing the frog and it got swirled on it. It actually did eat it. And I set the hook and I missed the hook set, came back an hour later, just pitched the little beaver bait in there. And, uh, and that was basically lights out. Was blind casting out of bed. That's how I caught it. Just dragging out a soft plastic in there, shaking it, giving it a little dangle. And that's how I caught that fish. So that's another tip for you guys. Throw the frog. If you get swirled on and they're not committing to it, just remember where that fish is and come back. You know, come back 30 minutes later, an hour later, give them some time to relax. The fish are on bed, so they're gonna stay in the same places. They're gonna guard their little babies. And that's when you go in there with your bait and catch the fish. That's how today's video went. If you guys want any flare gear, I will link that down below as well. As always, really do appreciate you guys giving this video a watch. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit the like button. Peace. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow.